Welcome. So, uh, one thing I've been asked recently is how do we defeat Black Order without Black Order in Arena? And as you can see here, I do have a few uh, to choose from to hit, but they aren't um, insanely large, right? Uh, 410 being the largest here, but uh, it's kind of funny. These two have the exact same uh, Call Obsidian power. <laughs> 69. All right. Um, Corvus is pretty low for everybody just because, you know, we only have the two blitzes for him. So he's still got low stars. He'll eventually get a lot stronger as he becomes farmable. Uh, but you can see here, this guy has a really big Thanos. So I'm going to go ahead and take him on. He's at 410k. Um, so one of the things I've seen um, is you can still use Phoenix. You just have to be careful with her. Uh, don't let her use her special and then get annihilated while everybody else is stealth. Uh, I think Ultron can still work. Um, My Hela and Black Bolt are enormous, so they can actually hit this, take the backline spots and survive for a while. Uh, but sometimes you do get unlucky, and so you just gotta be careful about this because you basically can get into a situation where you know you're getting hit a whole lot on one side and all the splash damage is killing somebody and you don't want that to happen you want to try to keep the damage spread but one thing that is nice is those aoe's right like right there kill greg and uh, you want greg to die because that makes your life a lot easier other thing i've noticed is the thanos uh special always occurs on turn two regardless so uh, even if you don't have any buffs to flip it's a total waste of a move waste all the energy for it it's really stupid but that's that's the ai for you um so here i want to try to dispel that taunt off a of call and you can see he's only 69k so it did land uh next thing i want to do is try to even though i have offense down i'm going to try to land a disrupt on him and if i can get it which i usually don't because of the offense down from um Ebony Maw, uh, you know, it can make your life a lot easier, and then you can potentially spread it next round. Um, so now that we've gone through their debuffs, because we've had both the Prox special and the Maw uh, special, um, we'll get slow on next turn from Maw, but the idea is we clear these offense, uh, offense uh, downs, and then we're going to focus Maw down. So I'm going to try to remove some buffs from him. Hopefully get that defense down or defense up or off of him, but of course they didn't. That's okay. Ultron doesn't care about your defense ups. He cares not for your buffs. And we will try to get Maw down as soon as possible. So this is going to kill Ultron, unfortunately, but he already used his ult, so he got his energy back. And then, uh, oof, now he's got almost no help. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to use the Phoenix ult here, since she's still alive, to clear Call's taunt. And then we're going to use the slow from the minion and hopefully uh pick him off here i'm gonna go ahead and try to get him there and then uh we can go ahead and use the heal block share put that on everyone and flip those death proofs with her ult which is really important um so that's a nice uh kill on ebony maw there and now we're gonna get annihilated here but uh, we do have a couple things up our sleeve here. Uh, I don't need to worry about his death proof because I can special and kill him with the drain and then use the invisible woman ult here. Since Maw is gone, Phoenix is okay. She will survive for a little while. Uh, Black Bolt's getting annihilated here, but he's about to take out those three, uh, possibly Thanos as well. So I gotta be careful here. Uh, I don't really wanna win this fight. I don't need to move up right now. But I just want to demonstrate that this team can, in fact, win. And you can see there, 305k crit on Thanos with his defense down, and then 235 or 236 and 237k on Prox and uh, Corvus Glaive. So big attacks there. Um, but you can see, I think the key to winning this fight, if you're not using Black Order, or even if you are, is killing Maw as soon as possible. And there's a lot of things working for me here. So uh, there is a bit of RNG to it because you may not be able to remove Taunt off a of Cull and target Maw. Um, so if they had a much higher Cull Obsidian, it would be a lot more difficult because his Taunt would prevent me um, from going after Maw and making sure I kill him. So let me back out here just so I can show this team's power again real quick because that's, that's also a key factor in this. Um, because, you know, everybody builds 
characters differently. So you you know, no no team is always a perfect example of what you're going to fight. I mean, unless these guys are all tier 14, you know, five red, seven gold or something, it's really hard to make a standard attack against a team like this, uh, just because there is going to always be some randomness to it. But like I said, the call is only 69k. Uh, it's still pretty powerful. He's still very um, good at resisting things. But once he hits tier 14, his resistance is going to go way up. Uh, so I would be concerned about that. Um, a higher call obsidian could be much more difficult to tackle, and it may be impossible to remove those taunts depending on what your team is. But if you got, you know, five, six, seven red uh, Phoenix, you should have no problem at least removing it the first time and surviving to the second turn for Phoenix and removing both of his taunts. Her, her turn order works really well, assuming she doesn't get slowed or stunned along the way. So that works. I kind of ignore Proxima and Corvus because they're kind of weak to begin with. Uh, once Phoenix flips and they get those defense downs on them uh, without any way of cleansing them, um, they're pretty squishy and easy enough to kill. But it is it, it is just a matter of making sure that you take out Maw. Because if Maw gets his ult and you get your entire team slowed, uh, you're going to get hit with that Thanos ult and then a couple other hits and it, it's just going to go downhill from there. And so I think the key is, is just doing as much damage as you can to Maw, getting those buffs removed with like the Black Bolt basic, you saw I chose that over his special. Um, you don't need to nuke Maw because he's got so many buffs on him, what you need to do is strip those death proofs and defense ups, and that way you can get uh, more damage on him from the whole team instead of just one character. So that's that's how I attack this. Um, the other thing I use, I generally use my Black Order team to attack Black Order because I think a human controlled Black Order always does immensely better <laughs> it makes a huge difference but if you don't have the whole black order you can do that 